Hello! I have been wanting to create a fall harvesty autumn naturally dyed bunting to use as a decoration in my house and as we say goodbye to the hot summer days and the brisk weather starts to set in I'm trying to catch that last bit of warmth and ability to do some natural dyeing outside and in the house so kind of both but I catch the the sun as it starts to disappear for the next six months in the Pacific Northwest. And I want to uh, dye some wool felt that I've had stored away, squirreled away for a long time, and try doing it with natural dyes. Luckily, most natural dye results end up being very harvest autumn-y tones naturally. So I'm going to pursue that. <laughs> Hey Sugar Stamps, if you're new here, my name's Brittany. Here on YouTube, I share tutorials, inspiration, and stories of projects I do in traditional crafts like spinning, natural dyeing, basket weaving, and other things. Thanks for joining me today. If you're an old friend, thanks for coming back. I'm glad to have you. Let's have fun getting cozy and working on this natural dye sewn bunting project. For this project, I'm going to start out by scouring my wool felt, cleaning it so that it will take on the natural dyes, and then I'm going to mordant it with aluminum sulfate. From there, make the natural dye baths, and I'll show you those. After the dye is extracted, dye the wool, dry that, and then start the bunting making process, which will probably be a series of steps of its own, but I'm kind of considering it a lump part of the process because once the dyeing is done, that's like a major part of this whole thing. So. Let's get started with the scouring, mordanting, and making the dye extracts.
the natural dyeing is done. So excited, all the colors turned out fun. I'll show you once they're all dry, all the colors combined. I am going to throw all the fabric into a very low temperature dryer. Usually I air dry my natural dyed materials, but I want to get to making this bunting. So I'm going to throw them in the dryer, get them all dry, and then start the cutting and creation process. Before we get to making the bunting, I wanted to jump in here and invite you to join my email update list. I send out a twice a month email with updates, information, resources from the Textile and your YouTube channel, the blog, and social media. So any new content that I put out is in that email and other information and resources. You can sign up by adding your name and email address using the link in the description below and then you'll receive a confirmation email. Be sure to push, yes, I do want to receive these emails in that confirmation email because that will add you onto the list. Okay, let's get back to making our wool bunting. Okay, I finally have all of the fabrics dyed. They've been rinsed and dried, and now I'm going to show them to you. So I have the turmeric, very bright yellow, I've got one version of the matter root. This is very variegated, but bright, fun colors. Phoebe, are you really going to mess with my mojo here? I've got a nice deep red, also from the matter root. That's from the initial pour off. And then this guy, cochineal with matter root mixed. I've got some paler salmon y matter root dyed, and some more um, peachy matter root dyed. Got quite the range with the matter root this time around. And then this guy is coffee over dyed with walnut holes. I collected the walnut holes in my neighborhood over the last several weeks and decided the coffee wasn't quite dark enough for me so I over dyed them. And then this guy is, ah oh, shucks, what was this guy? These are the eucalyptus. They didn't turn out quite as yellow as I was hoping. I don't think I had enough eucalyptus leaves. Um, this guy was horse chestnuts. I think, if I remember correctly. Wow, I can't believe I've already forgotten what I dyed with. Black beans dyed, and here's the last of the turmeric. So I have a nice range of colors. Um, they're in my way, my dear. How about you sit here with me? There we go. I have a lot of beautiful dyed fabrics here, and now I can start putting together and deciding how the bunting's going to look. I want to do pennant style, so little triangles, and I'm probably going to be dictated by the width of some of these pieces of fabric because some of them are fairly narrow. I found these cool wooden beads in my stash from a previous project left over. They have some reds and browns and some of them have some prints on them and they just kind of fit the fall sort of color theme that I have going on here. So I thought that I might incorporate some of these in between the wool pieces if it looks good when I get to that point. I'll try this, and then we might have to move on to something else if that doesn't work. So my test here is to see if I can get this on my tapestry needle. Then, once it's on the needle, will it go through the fabric? Ha <laughs> ha, that would be a yes. Oh, and I like how that looks. Okay, now I'm going to lay out some of these pieces that I've cut and start to create the layout. I ended up not having very many pieces that were big enough for the larger triangle. Lack of foresight on my part. But I think that if I put these interspersed either in a strand of their own in the colors that I did have, or combined with some of the smaller pieces, it'll turn out fine.
I finished putting the buntings together and now I'm ready to hang them. So I'm going to find a spot in my house and hang them up together. These popped up in my garden this year from a pumpkin I threw out last fall and I got a whole collection of these cute little creamy pumpkins. It was a fun surprise. <laughs> Well, here they all are. I hung them up here in a collection because I think having them all together looks really nice and the colors just meld really nicely together. And I'm really happy with how the overall effect turned out. Some of the colors, the combination's a little bit nursery, reads a little more um, pastel-y than what I was intending, but I think that overall it achieved my goal of having something bright and fun and naturally colored for the autumn season. So they're represented on my linen curtains and yeah, I think it was a, a good process. This is definitely one of those extended processes and a labor of love because to get a simple bunting from hours of natural dyeing processes and then cutting them out and stitching them together, it was more of a about the journey than about the product because they're not necessarily super duper exciting. It's just a simple de decoration for the holidays, but uh, it's cool to have something that represents different colors. So we have the cochineal and matter root and the um, coffee and eucalyptus and horse chestnuts, um, lots of matter root represented, the black beans, turmeric for the yellow. We got a rich red from the matter root, which is very exciting because that's a little bit more challenging to achieve and it happened by accident, so lucky chance. If you make your own naturally dyed fabric bunting, I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment below. Like this video because it shares it with other people that enjoy natural dyeing and other fiber crafts. And subscribe if you haven't already. It really supports my channel when you subscribe or share it with friends. And uh, I really appreciate it when you do that, so thank you so much. It's a pleasure getting to share my projects and the skills that I know and love here on my YouTube channel and my website, textileindy.com. Be sure to check the description for a page of resources in natural dyeing. If you're interested in exploring natural dyeing on your own, I have lots of tutorials and resources and links to all of the tools and materials that I typically use. So check that out down there. If you're interested in basket weaving, I want to let you know about my basket immersion program. It's a program that covers 12 months and you sign up for the program and each month you'll receive a basket pattern with a full color instruction manual as well as a video tutorial that walks you through the entire process. So if you want to create 12 different beautifully designed and crafted baskets that you can show off in your home and say, I made that, then go ahead and check the description below for the page with all of the information and how to sign up. All of that is on our website, textileindy.com. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Happy making.